Dragon's new hobby. One morning, Dragon had eaten his breakfast and finished all his chores and had time for some fun. Hmm. He watched the tap drip for a while. Oh. Oh. But that wasn't as much fun as it used to be. Hmm. Hmm. I need a new hobby. A hobby like... Stamp collecting. Stamp collecting is a fascinating hobby. Except Dragon only had one stamp and it stopped being fascinating after a while. <sighs> Dragon then decided his new hobby would be painting eggs. <laughs> oh. Whoops. Oh. But eggs have thin shells and are very wobbly. and are tricky to hold on to when they're covered in paint. Maybe painting eggs wasn't the best hobby for Dragon, he decided. He should try something less messy. I know. I'll stand on my head. That's a very good hobby. <laughs> This was the most fun Dragon had had all day. <laughs> but after a while, he decided to get down. <sighs> but that wasn't so easy. <sighs> he was stuck upside down. <laughs> Luckily, Cat knew what to do. Yola who ow. Dragon was looking for a new hobby. He tried stamp collecting and painting eggs and standing on his head, but he was looking for something more exciting. Luckily, Beaver had just the thing. Oh, well, yodeling should be your new hobby, suggested Beaver. Yodeling! Dragon thought yodeling would make a wonderful hobby, except... Uh, what is yodeling? Beaver explained. It's a kind of singing, like this. <laughs> Dragon loved the sound of yodeling and gave it a try. Dragon was very happy. He had a new hobby. A hobby that made sounds. <laughs> Get ready for my new hobby, said Dragon to Cat. Yodeling. Dragon thought his yodeling sounded wonderful. But not everyone else agreed.
dragon kept yodeling and yodeling louder and louder. Dragon loved yodeling until Dragon had yodeled too much too soon and lost his voice. Dragon was silenced, which, if you were anyone but Dragon, was a good thing. Nitpicking. Dragon had tried yodeling as a hobby, but now his throat was sore. And everyone else's ears were sore from listening to dragons yodeling. I think you need another hobby. A quiet one. The two thought about quiet hobbies for a moment. Okay, sleeping is a good hobby, suggested Beaver. Very quiet. Yeah. I was hoping for something I could do while I was awake. Hmm. I know, shouted Beaver. Nuh -uh. Nope. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here's your new hobby knitting. You can make clothes with wool. Dragon thought this was a very good idea for a hobby. Okie dokie. Hmm. Very quiet. Yeah. <laughs> Dragon couldn't decide what to knit first. There were so many possibilities. A sweater, a poncho, a hat. He decided to just start and see what happened. Dragon got going. Knit one. Curl two. He counted to himself, because that's what you do when you knit. knit. He wasn't sure what he was knitting just One. yet, but he liked his new hobby. Wow. And Cat liked it too. Dragon liked his new knitting hobby, but soon he realized he hadn't really knit anything he could use. So, he knitted a little something for his toothbrush. He knitted a doorknob cover for his doorknob. And knitted ear caps and whisker warmers for Cat. Finally, Dragon had found a hobby he loved. I had no idea I could knit so many useful things. Wooly for you. Dragon had taken up knitting as his new hobby and knitted many very useful things, such as something for his toothbrush, a doorknob cover, and whisker warmers for cat. He wondered what he should knit next. I know, he decided. I'll knit nice things for all my friends. Dragon got right to work. He couldn't wait to surprise his friends. Tidy ho, little blue dude. Soon, Dragon had knitted something special for each one of them. I made a tail warmer for Beaver, a superhero cape for Ostrich. Socks for alligator! Great. Yeah. Oh, wow. And a long scarf for Mill Mouse. Oh, <laughs> oh, all right. Wow, that's a great off. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, wow. yeah. Hmm. Well, I'm I was holding. Oh, you 
look very silly. Everything is too big or, or too small. <laughs> I know what to do, stated Mailmouth. Let's switch things. And so they did. Alligator's socks made fine mittens for Beaver. Beaver's tail warmer made a great hat for Alligator. Ostrich's cape became a perfect apron for Mouse. And Mouse's scarf fit Ostrich just right. <laughs> well, now you look wonderful, said Dragon. His friends agreed right. and decided that knitting was a very good hobby. I'd like to knit too, said Alligator. Me too. Added Male Mouse. And soon, Dragon and his friends were all happily knitting away. Knit one, pearl two. Knit one. Dragon was very glad he'd found such a fun new Knit hobby. One. Knit one. And so was Cat. Knit one, pearl two. two.